My question is to the Minister of Finance. What steps are the Government and the Earthquake Commission taking to streamline the Canary earthquake claims process? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, the Government has taken steps to ensure the Earthquake Commission can assess and settle minor claims as quickly as possible. For claims where there is no structural or land damage, EQC will settle with homeowners promptly, uh, which they began doing this morning. In the case of houses that, have, that only have damaged chimneys, homeowners can choose to have the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Authority manage repairs and or replace with a clean heating device. These steps are expected to speed up the claims process for almost 40,000 home and building owners. Aaron Gilmore. Why has EQC taken these steps to speed up the process? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, EQC has already received around 53,000 claims and is expecting to receive many more in the, in the uh, coming weeks. Uh, if they followed the usual processes, these claims would take several years to complete. Of these claims, about 25,000 are expected to be for superficial damage of less than $10,000. Another 14,000 are expected to be for repairs to chimneys. Dealing with this large number of less serious claims quickly will free up EQC to focus on the many more serious and complex claims that have arisen from the earthquake. Aaron Gilmore. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Further supplementary, what steps are EQC, private insurers and banks taking to fast-track more serious claims? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, with some encouragement from the Minister in charge of earthquake recovery, Jerry Brownlee, uh, EQC, private insurers and, and banks have shown a real willingness to work together. Uh, officials are leading discussions with these parties to bring about a more integrated response to the serious claims. These details are being worked through and uh, will be announced shortly. The, ob the objective will be to ensure that payouts are made uh, as expeditiously as possible and are for the use as intended, that is for repairs and restoration of damage, not for other purposes, and also to ensure that the work is of a consistent standard. The Hon. Ruth Dyson. Uh, what assistance will the Government be giving to people who need to employ tradespeople and engineers? have home assessments and then significant repairs undertaken, have to pay for them within 21 days in advance of any money from EQC being paid to them, but who just don't have the money to proceed with this assessment and repair work. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member uh, may, well, may be well to direct that um, inquiry directly to Mr Brownlee. Uh, there is work being done on a direct payment system to try and um, avoid the situation where homeowners would be out of pocket, but I'm sure Mr Brownlee could answer that in some detail. Brendan Burns. Supplementary question. Can the Minister give this House and the people of Canterbury an assurance that the Government will not only provide all possible financial resources for the rebuilding of as many heritage buildings across our province, and most notably in my electorate of Christchurch Central, as is feasible, but where such rebuilding is not possible, Will Government work with the City Council and Christchurch community to ensure replacement buildings are funded and designed in harmony with those that simply have to be replaced? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, that's a matter that is under discussion, under discussion uh, with the Prime Minister, uh, the local bodies and the uh, relevant Minister in charge of the Historic Places Trust. Uh, and it will be important that there are some parameters laid down about the extent to which government uh, might or might not participate, uh, but also that the, de the decision making ultimately lies uh, with the local interest and those who have a, a, a strong stake in the look of the city. Question number two, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. 